So within the last couple days, I've come across two pretty awesome video game pickups. And it's been a minute since I actually put out a pickups video. So I knew I'd have to document these pickups for the channel. Now this first bundle I have, I picked up entirely all at once. And it is made up of all PS2 games and two PlayStation 1 games. Lastly, this was picked up at a local thrift store. So let's get into it. SOCOM 2 US Navy SEALs Developed by Zipper Interactive and published by Sony This tactical shooter I picked up for maybe a buck and it only retails for maybe about three dollars I only picked it up because it's one of the last mainline SOCOM games on the PlayStation 2 I didn't have The only PS2 SOCOM game I still need would be SOCOM US Navy SEALs Combined Assault Silent Scope 3. This on rail shooter was published and developed by Konami. I paid about a buck for it and it retails at about $7. Now this is the first Silent Scope game I've been able to add to the collection and hopefully it's the first of many. Tekken 4. Developed and published by Namco. This fighting game I picked up for about a dollar, and it retails for about ten dollars. I was actually really happy to add another Tekken to the collection. The only other Tekkens I know I have are Tekken Tag for PS2, Tekken 2 for PS1, and Street Fighter V Tekken for Xbox 360. Superman Shadow of Apocalypse Developed by Infogrames and published by Atari. I picked up this action game for about a dollar and it retails at about ten dollars. Now this game of course is based on the animated series and it has all of the voice actors from it. So I definitely think at some point this is a game I would like to review for the channel. So keep an eye out for that. Ratchet and Clank. This game was developed by Insomniac Games and published by Sony. It's an action platformer that I paid about a dollar for and retails for about $14. Now this series of games is also another one that I really don't have that many of. I think All for One on PS3 is the only current one I have other than this one. So I definitely think at some point you can expect a review for this one. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, and Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. Having been developed and published by Konami, the MGS series has always revolved around espionage action gameplay. Now this is actually my fourth different copy of the game. I believe the only other one I'm missing is called Document of Metal Gear Solid 2, so I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for that one. Paid about a dollar each for the two copies of this game. The regular Sons of Liberty copy is about an $8 game, and the substance goes for about $24. Now this franchise is one of my favorite, more specifically Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3, so I definitely think you can expect me at some point to review all of these games. Now when that is, I'm not quite sure. But of course, I will always start with the very first one. Now the last few notable games I picked up in this bundle are Short Track Racing Trading Paint Dance Dance Revolution X Air Force Delta Strike Call of Duty Finest Hour Fireblade Soldier of Fortune Nuclear Strike and Air Combat This next bundle is made entirely up of GameCube games. I did pick them up all at once, and all from the same thrift store. So, here we go! 
Sonic Heroes. Developed by Sonic Team and published by Sega. This action platformer I picked up for a dollar and it retails for $27. Shadow the Hedgehog Developed and published by Sega I picked up this edgy action platformer for a dollar and it retails for about $28 Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut Developed by Sonic Team and published by Sega This action platformer only cost me a dollar and it retails for about $30 Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Developed by Sonic Team and published by Sega This action platformer I picked up for a dollar and it retails for a nice 40 bucks Now you might be saying wait Chazman you didn't say if you were going to review any of those four Sonic games you just picked up What's the deal with that? Well I don't have any particular attraction or fondness to Sonic games but maybe someday if you guys hold my feet to the fire, I might give some of those games a try and a review. Beyond Good and Evil Developed and published by Ubisoft. This adventure game I paid a dollar for, and it retails for a nice $62. Now I have played this game before, back on the Xbox 360. But I enjoyed this game so much, I definitely think I will revisit this one and definitely do a review on it sometime in the future. Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes Developed by Silicon Knights and published by Konami. This action stealth game I paid a dollar for, and it retails for a whopping $95. It immediately steps in and is in the top 5 of my highest priced games. Baten Kaitos Origins Developed by Tricrescendo and Monolith Soft Published by Nintendo I paid a dollar for this turn based RPG and it retails for a super awesome $100. Once again, immediately putting this one as one of my highest priced games. Additionally, it's immediately going on my backlog for games to review. Lastly, here's some other notable games I picked up in the bundle. Medal of Honor Frontline. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Rainbow Six Three. GoldenEye Rogue Agent. 007 From Russia With Love and Red Faction 2. Overall I was super stoked to get these bundles. The GameCube alone almost doubled up my GameCube game so needless to say I'm super happy about that. Anyways guys thanks for checking out my pickups video. I just want to say like always thanks for watching. I love you. Please be safe. And I'll see you on the next Enter Chasman. Bye guys.